Today, I'm giving you guys a free motion graphic that you can use to automatically resize text to fit within the horizontal and vertical bounds of your video. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's dive in. If you don't wanna learn how to make it, you can just click the link in the description down below and that will bring you to my product page where you can check out everything that I have for sale. You can even filter these things if you want from paid versions to free versions and I have a ton of free stuff. All you have to do is find the auto resize text mugger and click on it and then it'll bring you here. Just click add to cart, it's zero dollars. All you have to do is extract that zip file and then head on over into Premiere, click the workspaces at the top and click on graphics and then click this install motion graphics template at the bottom, and then select KH auto resize text and click open. Once you open it, you'll see it in the essential graphics window and it has a nice thumbnail. And if you scroll through it, you can kind of see a preview of what it does. And all of my motion graphics actually do this, like my brush one right here. And all you have to do is click and drag that into your area and you can adjust the text for regular and also your stroke text like Kyler Holland and then you can enable your stroke right here. This will automatically resize to any text that you put in here with different fonts. You can also adjust the text scale if you want it to go all the way out to the edges as well, and that works for both as well. If you guys want more free stuff like this, click that like button and subscribe for more. Let's dive into how to actually make this. Boot up After Effects and create a new composition. You can make it whatever size you want, and we're gonna say Auto Resize. Then all you have to do is right click down in the timeline, click new text, name it whatever you want. So my text is currently a stroke, so I'm gonna disable that and enable the fill. Now go to the effects and presets and type in anchor, and you're gonna drag in lock anchor point onto this text layer and make sure middle center is selected. Now all you have to do is click the down arrow and go to transform. And then under the scale, we're gonna hold option or alt on a PC and click that button to toggle our expression editor. All you have to do is copy the expression that's in the description and paste that in. You are done. But I'm gonna explain what all these do and how to actually set it up. No matter how long your text layer is or if you have multiple lines, it will automatically resize to the longest text layer. So it is pretty cool. So now you can understand why this is gonna be usable. Now I'm gonna show you guys something that's really cool that you can start doing right now. Utilizing ChatGPT to help you explain what expressions mean. Type explain this After Effects expression like I'm in fourth grade and paste in the expression. So this allows you to understand what the expression is doing, but it's not giving us the nitty gritty details that we need. For that, we're actually gonna type in something else, but this will help you understand what expressions do. But what I wanna do is actually get the real details. I'm gonna make a new chat and say, explain this After Effects expression line by line. This After Effects expression scales a layer based on its dimensions while maintaining its aspect ratio. Let's break this expression down line by line. And it gives you a little summary at the bottom, which is awesome because it kind of gives you an overview of what it does. This already in itself is extremely powerful because if you don't know what an expression does, you can just reference this and look at it like h equals r height. This line retracts the height from our source rect at time and assigns the variable h. The most complicated line is line six right here. It looks really cumbersome, but this explains it. This line calculates the scaling factor s that will be applied to the layer while maintaining its aspect ratio. It checks whether the width to height ratio of the layer this one right here is greater than the maximum width to height ratio, which is this. If, which is the question mark, this condition is true, it scales the layer by dividing max W by W. If false, it scales the layer by dividing max height by H. So basically if it's false, like your text doesn't expand to the full width, it's going to adjust the height to make sure that it stays within those parameters. But we're gonna jump into After Effects and I'm gonna reference this as we go. Now we're in the scale expression editor of our text layer. So to start this off, let's create a variable for the width. So I'm gonna type max W, and my W is gonna be capital just for making it easier, equals this comp period width, because we want the width, and then we're gonna type asterisk which is times 0.9, which is 90%, and then put semicolon, and then click enter. And let's create another variable, max 
h, which is going to be our height, equals this comp period height, because we want to pull the height, asterisk 0.9, again 90% and then semicolon. These two basically make it so that it sets the width and the height maximums to 90%, meaning that it's only gonna come up to the bottom right here. If you had that to one, it would go all the way out to the edges, and if you had it to like five, it would only go halfway in between our layers. So let's click enter again and create another variable. R, which is gonna be our rectangle, is going to be source rect at time, so you can just go down and enter that, and the time is going to be denoted as time. And then we're gonna to go to the end and put another semicolon and click enter. That line retrieves the rectangular dimensions of the layer at the current time using the source rect at time function and stores it in the variable r that we can use later. Another line we're gonna type w equals r times width and then semicolon. And that line extracts the width of the rectangular dimension stored in the variable r and assigns it to the variable w. h equals r times height and then semicolon. And then similarly, this extracts the height of the rectangular dimensions. And then click enter. And this is our fun line. So let's type s equals width divided by height, which is our width to height ratio is greater than max w divided by max h. We're gonna type question mark max w divided by w, and then we're gonna type a colon, and then max h divided by h, and then semicolon. If the condition is true, it scales the layer by dividing max w by w. If it's false, it scales the layer by dividing max h by h. So this right here is referencing the height, which is also referencing up here, basically saying that if this text layer is not long enough, then it's going to scale it according to the height so that it touches the top. Now all you have to do is to create an array. So let's do left bracket, and then that will create a little box and type 100 comma 100. And then we're gonna go to the end and type asterisk s and then semicolon. That line creates a new array representing the scale values in x and y directions. 100, 100 represents the initial scale of the layer and the s part applies the calculated scaling factor to both dimensions resulting in the final scale values. So once you click away, you'll see that our expression works. And you can come in here and start typing away and it will automatically resize and rescale. And I basically just took all this information and made it into a Moger and gave it to you guys for free. But if you liked today's video and you want more stuff like this, click that like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.